Did you know that the world's first astronomical site was discovered in Africa? Hey, I'm Bissy Atkins, and in today's episode of All Things Africa, we are going to explore the fascinating evidence that suggests that Asian Africans were in fact the first astronomers on Earth by looking at different astronomical sites and theories that exist in Africa to prove this. So, let's get right into it. Do you remember what astronomy is? Well, it's the study of celestial objects like the sun, moon, stars, planets, and everything else in the universe. Just as we are curious about these celestial bodies today, wondering why the sun rises and sets, how many stars there are in the sky and what their names are, our ancestors also gazed at the heavens thousands of years ago with similar wonder. They even built large stones aligned with the sun and the stars to help them understand time, seasons and patterns, allowing them to determine the best times for planting and harvesting. Now, let's examine the stones that were discovered. Over 7,000 years ago, Nabta Playa considered the world's first astronomical site was constructed. This remarkable site was discovered in 1973 by American archaeologist Fred Wendorf, a professor at Southern Methodist University in Dallas, Texas. Wendorf was conducting a survey of the area as part of a larger project to study prehistoric human settlements in the Egyptian desert. Intrigued by the scattered stones and their unusual arrangement, Wendorf returned in the early 1900s with a team of archaeologists to excavate the site. Key members of his team included Romald Scheild, a Polish archaeologist, and James A. Marrow, an expert in prehistoric astronomy. Their objective was to uncover the purpose and significance of the stone arrangements. The excavations revealed that the stone circles aligned with the stars, just in their use by a cattle worshipping cult of nomadic people to track the summer solstice and the arrival of the annual monsoon season. After a comprehensive research paper on Naptapai was published in 1998, the site gained widespread attention from both the academic community and the public. Unfortunately though, increased visitation led to the defacement and the displacement of stones, causing significant damage to the site. To protect and preserve these ancient artifacts, the Egyptian government relocated the stones to the Nubian Museum in Aswan, Egypt, where they are now safeguarded and can be observed from a distance. This move ensures that the legacy of Naptaplaya continues to be appreciated while protecting it from further harm. Another significant stone site discovered is Namaruntunga, the first astronomical evidence found in sub-Saharan Africa. In 1978, archaeologists Mark Lynch and L.H. Robbins explored the megalithic site in northern western Kenya. The term megalithic, by the way, refers to structures made of large stones often used in prehistoric times for ceremonial or religious purposes. While visiting Namaruntunga 1, located alongside the Kerio River Valley, southwest of Lake Tukana, Lynch and Roberts inquired with the locals about other similar sites. They learned about another site with the same name, located 210 kilometers to the north near Ferguson's Gulf area of Lake Tukana. Namarantango 2, located on the eastern edge of the Lossidup Range overlooking the Lake Tukana Basin, offers a clear view of the entire horizon. Lynch and Robbins found that Namarantango 2 was indeed related to Namarantango 1 and dated back to the same era, around 300 BC. This site, also known as the Coloco Pillar Site, has 19 basalt pillars intentionally aligned with the specific stars and constellations. Modern Eastern Cushitic peoples use these celestial bodies to create an accurate calendar. The Cushitic people, part of a larger Afro-Asiatic language family, have a rich cultural history that includes a deep understanding of astronomy, as shown by the Namarongtanga site. The name Namarongtanga means stone people in the dialect of the local Takana tribe, a Nihilitic ethnic group native to the Takana district in northwest Kenya. According to local legend, the stones at Namarongtanga were once living people who the devil turned to stone because they mocked him. This Cushitic site suggests that an accurate and complex calendar system based on the detailed astronomical knowledge was developed in Eastern Africa by the first millennium BC. 
This discovery, like Napta Playa, highlights the advanced astronomical understanding of Asian African cultures and their ability to align their monuments with celestial events. Such findings underscore the rich heritage and scientific achievements of early African civilizations. The Dogen people, an indigenous ethnic group residing in the Bandiagri encampment of Mali, West Africa, are renowned for their profound and mysterious knowledge of the universe and celestial bodies. This knowledge is particularly intriguing because it predates European influence. The Dogen were aware of Saturn and its rings. They knew about Jupiter and its four main moons, recognized the Earth as a sphere that revolves around its axis, and even knew about the existence of Sirius B long before it was scientifically deduced in 1862. Their astronomical knowledge dating back to around 3200 BC has baffled researchers leading to various theories of its origin. Some suggest that the Dogen people were informed by extraterrestrial beings, while others link their wisdom to ancient Egyptians and Sumerians. The Dogen knowledge extends beyond these celestial bodies. They also understood the heliocentric nature of the solar system and had intricate calendars based on their observations of the sky. The accuracy and depth of their astronomical lore suggests a sophisticated understanding of the cosmos, far ahead of what was believed possible for an isolated pre-modern society. The revelations of Napta Playa and the Namaruntunga site in modern times have uncovered a deep-rooted African tradition of astronomy that stretches back thousands of years. These discoveries highlight the pioneering role of Asian Africans in astronomy, yet they are not as widely known as European sites like Stonehenge. Stonehenge's larger size and continuous visibility have made it more accessible and prominent in research, whereas Napta Playa, built approximately 2,000 years earlier, only gained attention a few decades ago. Despite the wealth of knowledge that we have just uncovered, there is still so much more work that needs to be done in this field. The long-standing astronomical traditions of African civilization deserves more recognition and study. The Dogen, Napta Playa and Namurantanga exemplify the sophisticated understanding of the cosmos possessed by Asian Africans, challenging the conventional narrative that advanced astronomical knowledge originated primarily outside of Africa. All right, so I know that was a lot to take in, so let's take a little break. What did we actually learn in today's episode? Well, first, we learned that Napta Playa is the world's earliest known archaeoastronomical site built over 7,000 years ago. Its stone circles aligned with the stars and were used by Asian Africans to track celestial events. Secondly, we learned that the first known astronomical site in Sub-Saharan Africa, discovered in Kenya and dating back to about 300 BC, is called Namurantanga. It features basalt pillars aligned with the stars and constellations reflecting advanced calendrical systems. Thirdly, the Dogen people have profound astronomical knowledge that predates European influence, including awareness of Saturn's rings, Jupiter's moon, and Sirius B. And lastly, that these discoveries highlight Africa's significant contribution to astronomy, showcasing a deep-rooted tradition of celestial knowledge and challenging the narrative that advanced astronomical understanding primarily originated outside of Africa, affirming the claim that Asian Africans were in fact the first astronomers on Earth. Last week, we asked you this. The answer is, which city is known as the twin capital of the world due to its exceptionally high rate of twin births? Is it Lagos, Nigeria, Kadini, India, Igbora, Nigeria, or Buenos Aires, Argentina? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below and the answer will be revealed in the next episode. The discoveries we've discussed today vividly illustrate that our ancestors were creative, highly intelligent and organized individuals, contrary to some claims made on Western discourse. These ancient astronomical sites highlight the rich heritage and scientific achievements of early African civilizations. 
We hope that further research will continue to uncover more about these sites and others as many more megalithics in Africa may still await discovery. These findings could provide even deeper insights into our ancestors' advanced understanding of the cosmos and help solidify Africa's foundational role in the history of astronomy. Now tell me, were you aware of all of these remarkable archaeoastronomical information before today? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for tuning into this episode. If you've enjoyed learning about the history of astronomy in Africa, which I'm sure you have, why don't you like the video, comment and share your thoughts below. But most importantly, don't forget to subscribe for all things Africa.